Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques that will help you throughout your journey. So I apologize for the last few sessions. I know they've been a bit basic for some people. This will be an opportunity to get them involved. So what I wanted to do is I wanted today to run over some of the ways I'm using uh, Todoist uh, and other, obviously I'm going to reference to other productivity apps, um, to way to break down any uh, personal and pro pro uh, personal and professional situations to spread them out so that they don't kind of clash and uh, in become a bit more difficult to manage. So as you can see, I've got in front of me Todoist. Um, for those who don't know, Todoist is a task management site that allows you to store all of your tasks uh, allows you to hatch comments, uh, add other people, and kind of operate slightly as a project management uh, system when you're actually inviting people to do tasks and engaging with them in the comment section. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to start off fresh, saying that you can use this kind of system that I'm about to show you on all of the other applications, those kind of tools that are out there, because I believe they still have the same functionality to do this, what we're talking about, I just want to show it clean and simple through Todoist. So uh, you can use it on Wunderlist, Meister Task, uh, and also Swipes as well, I believe, um, and any other application that mimics a task manager that has a lot of filter and labeling features. So let's get stuck in and get started with this video. What I want to do to start you off with is pretty much just going through my project folders. I don't want to go into each project folder because I think you'll understand what they are anyway, um, but this has very much adapted in the last few months. You probably would have gone back to other, my other videos and just gone, wow, this has changed a lot. Um, and let me just explain all of these. So up here, I've got a project folder called Life. Uh, essentially has all of the targets that I want to meet, all of those actions that re correlate exactly to my uh, personal targets and professional targets too, uh, personal targets, sorry, uh, and anything that's embedded in that. I also have timeline as well, that's something I started recently that helps me log all of my uh, gratitude and successes for the day, so these are all tasks that I have comments with. Um, I have fitness next, that's all to kind of like, you know, go to run, uh, do the weights, etc., to kind of plan into my situations. I have all of the company I work at. I have, you know, core admin, off offline information routine, Outbox, which is everything that I've done, and to explore, which is someday maybe. Uh, and then I have brand, and under brand, I have content as well, because brand is overarching, and content will be inside it. So that's my personal brand. I also have a shared section, which installs all of my shared ones. At the moment, I'm nearly having a, one where I organize house information uh, with my flatmate, Mark. So one of the issues when it comes to using Todoist for both professional and personal situation is you view your today or your next seven days, and I don't want to do that because it's got some personal stuff on there, but um, when you click those two things, um, it correlates both of the tasks. It runs it as a timeline, essentially all of your tasks all together. So all of your projects all together, and it kind of gives you a bit of stress because you know, you've color coded them, which is great. But still, visually, it's hard to kind of uh, separate all of the tasks and all of the time you want to spend on. Come up with a few methods that allow you to kind of break that down a bit in an easier way. So one filter that I do use every now and then, um, and I've set this one up fresh, is a filter that basically takes one of your projects. And so let's say you've got tons of, pro tons of tasks for the day. So let's say you've got 30 tasks for the day and you want to find everything today that's related to the project content. So all of the stuff on it related to content. So what I've done here is I've named a query today and content. So today and content, just simply there. You can add it whatever you want. You could call it, you know, J Jack, if you wanted to. Um, with the query Todd, so today, um, and, so the and symbol, not just a plus or a and, P, um, colon, I think that's a colon, and then content in big letters, the exact way I spelt the folder name. Click save. If I go to it, it basically filters out all of the today actions plus the content actions. So I don't have to, I can go, oh, okay, right, it's content time. I don't actually have to worry about searching through that long list of stuff in case it's a bit, you know, daunting. I mean, one of the things I could do is I could go scroll down to content, right? 
But imagine if you've got, you know, I, I've scheduled tomorrow, next day, etc., blah, 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 etc. Cetera, et cetera, then it comes a bit complicated, right? So if you're a premium feature user, uh, I would definitely take advantage of filters with that. So I just want to run over that quickly again. So you simply add Todd and symbol P colon content. So in big letters, whatever you wrote it in. Then if you don't have premium, and this is an annoying little hack, but what you can do is simply sort by date. And then you can organize that so that you can see all of the ones you do today. I mean, just to avoid that, you know, premium is a good opportunity there. But if you wanted to shave a bit of time, uh, shave a bit of money off yourself, then that's definitely a little hack that you can do there. So that's something that I use to organize all of those kind of things that are complicated when visualizing it. That's how I go to uh, instead of having to kind of filter out everything. One thing I've started doing, and as you can see here, uh, what I've started doing is I've actually using capital letters, right? And this is a recent theory where I'm looking at a lot of my tasks. And sometimes I write like really long reams of information. Uh, and they usually take up two pages, uh, two not two pages, two lines, three lines. And it kind of looks like a sentence after sentence, I have to read all of them. So now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making mental notes. So like this is Dropbox versus Emlo video. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the comments to write any notes that I have that give the context to the task, right? And I can not only add just notes, I can add files, I can add video recordings of myself, voice recordings and emoji as well. So I'm, I'm not relying solely on that massive long description because I think once you've got a lot of them, it gets very, very messy. So using a very simple title uh, and being clear and then adding context in the task is actually quite useful and it's actually quite mysterious because sometimes you write this like really weird title and then you go to the context and they have all the information there. So a quick little hack with that, when you're actually adding a task, um, it's quite useful to use this new quick comment feature on the web. And I believe you have these on Mac and PC, uh, not so much on the iPhone or Android phone. But when you're using that, that's pretty simple to use. So you can be able to go, you know, uh, dog, and <laughs> I don't know, and then be able to add all the context there in the comments. Uh, again, comments is a feature in premium. I'm not trying to push premium, but it's something that is very useful for when you're a hardcore Todoist user. So I hope this session was useful. I just wanted to run through some of the new tools I'm using. Just to go over this now, um, some things to do are make everything capitalized, add more context in comments, be able to formalize some of your activity to make it look a bit more structured, take use of filters to be able to organize the content because sometimes it get too timeline focused. When you're looking at things holistically, it looks a bit kind of overwhelming. This is a way to break it down. Also, uh, there's ability to add tasks uh, and informate task actions there. So you can see sort by date there, which is great. Um, and a quick comment feature, which is really brilliant. And these have really recently helped me professionally and personally to be able to, because I use these for both work and tool, uh, both work and personal. And I think a lot of you guys will start being doing that, doing that soon. So it's important that you kind of correlate them uh, separately. So thank you very much, everyone. I hope this useful, this video was useful. Uh, make sure to drop me a comment and see whether these helped you in any way. And also if I can improve any of my videos, because I'm still looking to develop a huge amount in my video creation. So thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you very soon.